We are working in spreadsheets and we're looking at Microsoft Excel and we're going to look at how we can find really big and really small numbers. So in this video, we're going to cover four basic functions that can help us find really big and really small numbers. So what I've got over here is a whole bunch of numbers that are quite randomly mixed up. There are 13 of them. I've put them in order over here so we can see which one is the smallest and which is the biggest. So if we want to refer to which one, or how big they are and that, we can look at it over here. But we're going to be using this range over here. It's all jumbled up in that. So the two functions we're going to start off is if we want to find the biggest number or the smallest number. And the term we use that for is maximum or minimum. So there's a function called max. So if I say equal max, so max, you will see this returns. It'll see what it says. It returns the largest value in a set of values. Okay. So we can select max and we can select this range of cells, even though it's unsorted. And we know that the answer, looking over here, it's going to be 9, 3, 10. So that should be our biggest number. So if I press enter, there you can see it found the biggest number. And then in reverse, the smallest number would be the min function. So if I say equal min of this random jumbled up bunch of numbers, it should find the smallest number, which should be 58, which is that one. There we go. So let's see if it finds it. Here we go. So that way we can find the biggest and the smallest number now that's a uh, great number what happens if we want to find second or the or fourth uh, biggest or the fourth smallest well for anything that's not the biggest um, and it's not the smallest we can use two other functions so for these two we used max and min so those were the the biggest and the smallest now for to find the, the not the biggest but the next biggest or the third biggest or whatever we want to use a function called large so let's have a look what large looks like equals large so the large needs two parameters it needs an array or a range of numbers so i can give it a whole bunch of numbers and then it needs this other parameter called k so i'll explain what that is now so let's first select our bunch of numbers so large of a whole bunch of numbers so take those numbers and we want to find the large now comma the number that i put here is going to be the number of the like for example if I put a 2 over here it's going to find the second largest if I put a 3 it'll be the third largest so whatever number we put here if I put a 5 it'll be the fifth largest in this case we want to find the second largest so I'm going to put a 2 there so if I put a 2 so large of that range comma 2 we will find the second largest which if we look at this list it should be 8861 there we go so that's the second largest and if I wanted to find the third largest i could change that two to a three and then it finds the seven seven five seven 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 five okay so that k number is like which large number you want the second largest the third largest and then there's another function called small which is the opposite of large it works exactly the same except for it finds the second smallest so if i say small it also needs an array and k so we give it this random bunch of jumbled numbers and then if I want to find the second smallest number, then I will put a 2. And we know that the second smallest number is 804. And there we go, I find it. Now, in the case where we want to find the fourth smallest, that number at the end, that parameter at the end should be a 4, because we want the fourth smallest. And we know that the answer should be 2917. And there we go, 2917. That's great. So we've learned about max, min, which find the biggest and the smallest, and then there's large and small. So what you can do over here, which is quite nice, if we want to find the top three out of this bunch, we can actually use the large. Now, I know you might say, but can't we just use max? You can use large as well. I'm just going to use this parameter to help me. So I'm going to select this range, and I'm going to say comma, and then this value that's over here, which is D9. D9. So it's basically going to find large, and then it's going to take the one from there. So it's going to find the first largest and then if i drag that down remembering that we should probably put dollar signs around this so that it, when we copy it down it doesn't change the range when i copy it down it'll find the top three numbers boom which it does boom, boom. there we go so large d9 which will be a one so you can see there and then when i do this one it's going to find large for two and large for three and i can do the exact same for small equals small of this range of numbers 
And I'm going to put dollar signs around us. If you're not too sure what these dollar signs mean, just watch our video on absolute cell referencing. And then I'm going to click on the D9. So it's going to find small with this range, but we're looking for the first smallest. In other words, the smallest number. And if I drag that down, you'll see that it finds the bottom three numbers. Because when I drag it across, the D9 is a 1, and the next one, the, D, the D10 is a 2, so it's finding the second smallest. And the D11 is a 3, so it's finding the third smallest. So there we go. You've learned four functions, max, min, the biggest and the smallest number. And then large and small, we'll find like if you want the second largest or the third largest or fourth smallest. So you can use those functions. Okay. For more videos in this video series, as well as other videos on Excel and IT related stuff, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.